What's up, Suichi? I'm just having a chit-chat with Hiriko. Do you want to be near me? Hmm. Okay, then. Up to us as I can spend time with you. This is it! This is what I've been after! How did you know, Suichi? Did Atua speak to you? <laughs> Good job, Suichi! I know I yelled at Angie the other day, but I wasn't mad at her. I need to apologize. She'll probably turn me down, but... Yahoo! I wonder what we'll get up to today, Suichi? I thought she would be too mad to even speak to me. But she's not acting any different. Alright, time to apologize. Angie, I'm sorry I yelled at you before. Huh? Why are you apologizing? I'm over what happened. Even Atua forgives you. Huh? Atua did? Yep. But what about you, Angie? Are you mad at me? My feelings don't matter. Atua has forgiven you, so it's fine. Hey, Angie, what is Atua? Atua is God and God is Atua. He is always with Angie. <laughs> How divine! R right, but... Hmm? Do you want to know more about Atua, Shuichi? It's okay, I'll teach you. But only you, okay? Smiling even wider than usual, Angie sidled up to me and spoke in a low whisper. The truth is... My works are divine messages from Matua. Divine messages? As an oracle, only I can receive Matua's divine messages. An oracle? She definitely looks possessed when she's making her art. Could it be? That's why it's my duty to tell everyone on my island about Atua's teachings. Atua's words are absolute, so everyone listens to anything I say. Anything? Anything. One time, Atua suddenly told me to throw a big festival. Everyone on the island attended, and we partied all week long. It was so much fun, but since no one worked for a week, it kind of messed up our lives. But Atua told me to do it, so that's that. Atua gets lonely pretty easily. <laughs> Angie believes that Atua's will is her will. But that's not right. Hey, hey, Suichi. What's up? What you thinking? Ah! T too close! Because I want you to focus on me. Wow! I can see myself in your eyes. W wait Angie, B back up a little. What? Why? Why, why, why? What do you mean, why? You're really close to me, and... I don't mind. I want to be closer to you. <laughs> there, now you're closer to me. I don't mind being emotionally closer to you, but can you scoop back a bit? I mean, it's impossible that a funeral was held for me. Cause I have a Dua, so I'm in no danger of dying, you know? Okay, then what should we do?
how divine of you, sweetie. <laughs> My cup runneth over with gratitude. Yay, I'm with Suichi again. Happy, happy me. <laughs> yeah, happy. Angie's been pretty happy lately. I wonder why. Hey, hey, Suichi, guess what? I got a present for you today. Angie pulled out what looked like a small board covered in fabric. Here, Suichi, unwrap the cloth, okay? Slowly, gently. I unwrapped the cloth carefully, just as she said, and saw a canvas about the size of my palm. And on that canvas... You made this, right, Angie? What's it of? Huh? You don't recognize it? It's your face, silly. This is me? Not only does it not look like me, it doesn't even look human. Yep, yep. I want you to have it. Ah, th thank you. You don't faint when you see my pictures anymore. Yay! I'm so happy I've gotten closer with you! Now that you mention it, that is true. Perhaps I've just gotten used to it. No, Suichi. You were chosen by Adua. And now you're ready to be Angie's husband. Isn't it wonderful? H husband Where is this coming from? Adua has spoken. Suichi can be with Angie forever. Hey, Angie, does Atua decide everything for you? Even your own husband? Hmm? Well... Maybe I want you to be my husband. What? Because I really do want to be with you forever. Does this mean I chose you, not Atua? Are you... confessing your love? Confession? Ah, yeah. Because you clearly like me and all. Oh, I see, I see. Is that all? You just want to know if I like you too? Okay, I do. There, it's decided. But choosing a husband is an important decision. You need to think about it more. And why did you pick me? I'm just an ordinary guy compared to you. Th this is getting kind of heavy. Huh? But everyone who's ever carried me has said I'm really light. No, I don't mean your weight. I mean, this is a life-changing decision. <laughs> It'll be fine. We've got a two on our side. That doesn't make me feel any better. But you can't pick a groom so casually like that. You're going to be with them for the rest of your life. And why did you pick me? I'm just an ordinary guy compared to you. W wait what am I saying? We shouldn't even be talking about this at our age. Huh? Huh? Are you defying the word about Tua? If you do that, you will be cursed for generations to come. Oh, okay. But this is still not a decision to be taken lightly. And why did you pick me? I'm just an ordinary guy compared to you. But you're not ordinary. My first time was with you. Wait. W what do you mean, first time? You're the first one to ever get angry at me. Since that moment, I haven't been able to stop thinking about you. I just think about you all the time. Ah, I see. I suppose Angie never got scolded before. After all, on her home island, her words were the words of Atua. Of course, if Angie admits that she got mad at me, that must mean that those are her genuine feelings. Not a Tua. That's good. It's a little strange, but there is definitely a bond between us now. Ah, of course. There's still the matter of... Hey, Suichi! Will you be my husband and stay with me forever? We aren't that close yet. I can't be her husband. Bono Kuma, Bono Kuma, Bono Kuma.